Okay, we're showing the brake installation and air gap setting for a 25 horsepower SEW gear motor. And Wayman's going to begin the installation. These are the springs, the adjustment rods. This is how you will adjust the brake once we put it on. It's gonna set your air gap. That's how you set it. These fit over those, over the adjustment rods. rings for the hand uh, adjustment. This is the seal for the shaft. And we're going to go slide it on the shaft now. Alright, right, slide it on. They had to make sure that they had that brake orientated the right direction right. for the uh, hand release lever. This notch is where the hand release lever is going to line up with, so that needs to be lined up properly. Now we'll run it in. As you see, the gap's starting to close up. So you go around. Run it down till it snugs, just so you can get your adjustment before you start. Right now we're way too tight. We're going to back the nuts back off. You'll see the air gap come out, which is right here. Set your filler gauge at 15,000. I don't know if you can see it. It says 15,000. And you'll take your 19 millimeter wrench and make adjustments on all three of the adjustment nuts. Snug it down and see where we're at. We're still tight, so we're going to back it back off. We're going to make some more turns. You're trying to adjust these evenly? Right. Just trying to get close at first. Now we're starting to get close. You can see the gap come. Go ahead and turn this one out some more. And the bottom one. And turning clockwise is increasing the amount of air gap. Is that it correct? A little bit more on this one. We'll go about a turn, one square. So eighth of a turn and we're getting close now
the main goal is to get the 15,000 tear gap all the way around between this thin little plate and the clutch, the disc. So you can see right now I'm a little bit loose. We want it to go all the way around. So we're gonna back this nut off and we're gonna turn this just to tighten it up just a little bit. This nut back here and then we jam this back down so that we get our adjustment. Right now we're there. We're at 15 here. So you wanna check it on all three studs. So we're gonna come around to this side and we check it, we're good. And we'll come to the bottom. And we're good. So now we're gonna make sure that all of our nuts are jammed tight. Now our air gap is set. Now we're gonna do the handbrake. This is the manual handbrake. Goes over the two studs. As you see, the overing is popped back out that we put in earlier. So we're just gonna put it back in the hole. That come from the adjustment that we were making. So we're just gonna push the O-ring back in the hole. That just makes a watertight seal. Make sure that this seals all the way in also. Now we can put the manual brake on. Over the two studs. It's a cone shaped spring. The large side of the spring goes on the stud. With a lock nut. Now we're going to do the other one. Thirteen millimeter socket. And tighten it up. We'll run it down till it starts, till it catches in the nylon. And then we'll come to the other one. Try to adjust them evenly as possible. Check your air gap here. You want five eighths of an inch once you pull it back. We're a little bit tight, so we're going to back it off. Five eighths. That is the proper adjustment on the manual breaker. 